everyone and welcome to this Scratch Junior tutorial. This is tutorial number 8 where we'll be making some characters greet each other. You can find this lesson on the Scratch Junior website which is linked in the description below. So let's begin a new project. We want to choose a background. Let's choose our city background again, which is this one, and press the tick. We're going to have two characters. We're going to keep Scratch the Cat, but we're going to add a dog character. So let's scroll down until we find our dog and press the tick. So let's put them on opposite ends of the page. And let's do some code. We'll start with Scratch. So this code, we're going to use the bump blocks to start, which is what we did in our last lesson. So let's start on a bump and drag that down. We want to say something to our dog when we see it. So let's find our purple message block, which is in here, and drag that down. We can change the words here by just tapping on it, delete what's there, and let's say something like, oh, hi dog. And let's tap away to keep that. And we want our dog to say something back. So it needs to start saying something after the cat's said something to it first. So we're going to use some message blocks. So if we go back to our start blocks, you'll notice these two envelopes. I'm going to choose this one here. You'll notice this envelope's closed. That means it is sending a message to something else in the screen. In this case, it'll be sending a message to the dog. And that means when we start the code for the dog, we'll use the open a letter message, um, open a message um, option there. But that's all the code we need for the cat. So let's just use our red end block and now we can go into our dog. So like I said before, we want the dog to um, say something after the cat said something to it. So let's drag the open message one and let's drag a purple message block. And this dog's not going to say much. So let's just say woof woof and tap away to save that and end the code there. So we're not quite finished though because you might remember that for our cat to start doing anything it needs to be bumped into first. So that means we need to make our dog walk towards the cat. So let's go back to our dog and add some more code. We'll get our green start flag block and let's choose the right direction arrow and we need to make the dog walk across the screen and bump into the cat. So I might actually move them a little bit closer and we might make this number eight. Hopefully that works. We will test it out and then we'll end it here. So we've got two lots of code for the dog and one code for the cat. So let's press the green flag and see what happens. So you'll notice here that the dog didn't quite bump into the cat. So let's quickly change this number to, we'll make it 10 instead. We'll reset our code and let's watch what happens. Perfect, you can see that they greeted each other. So now it's your turn. You'll notice here that the code is repeating itself. It keeps saying it over and over again. So why do you think that is? Why is it repeating forever? And what could you change in the code to have the program not repeat forever? So off you go and have a go. And remember that you can find this lesson in the Scratch Junior website, which is linked in the description below. And until next time, happy coding.